1907 Labor Day weekend. It has been just over 20 years since Vancouver's first race riot broke out in 1886. This Labor Day weekend marks the days the Asiatic Exclusion League was going to host a parade and a mass meeting. The League wanted Robert Dunsmuir, a coal mine owner and a politician, to approve of the 1907 BC Immigration Act that would exclude all Orients from immigrating to British Columbia. The League marched down starting from Canby Street. They wanted to protest immigration and the presence of Asians in Vancouver. They protested about the supposed lack of jobs for the white laborers because they were being taken by the Asians. When a young boy threw a rock that broke a window, the situation escalated. The crowd began to use sticks, clubs, bats, rocks, anything they could find to break and destroy property and businesses in Chinatown. The only defense for the residents of Chinatown was simple. They locked their doors, turned off their lights, and set up barricades. After quite some time, the police finally arrived. By Monday, Chinatown was blocked off physically from the city. The anti-Asian riots reflect a much more important issue. It illustrates the anti-immigration sentiments and the socio-economic situation of the time. Why did these riots occur? Why were white European settlers of the working class riding in Chinatown? And why were the Orients targeted? Even when 1907, Chinatown is still here and still thriving. The Chinese community has stood in unity for over a century against plans which pose a threat to Chinatown. From the early 20th century, residents stood their ground and refused to sell their property at unfair prices. Had they sold, Chinatown might well have been located much further east in the city. In 1960, Mayor of Vancouver Tom Campbell envisioned a freeway cutting through the city of Vancouver. Campbell's proposed freeway would come to occupy the already occupied districts of Strathcona, Hogan's Alley, Chinatown, and Gastown. Naturally, the Chinese Merchants Association, supported by the Chinese Benevolent Association, stated, The Chinese community is opposed to this recommendation for the simple reason that Chinatown as we know it will be completely destroyed. Chinatown is a tradition a landmark and a major tourist attraction for the city of Vancouver and has been such almost since the birth of the city. Actions by residents of the various districts threatened by Campbell's Freeway almost entirely stopped the plan. Hogan's Alley was replaced by the Georgia Viaducts, but the citizen movements prevented the development from extending into Chinatown. Through years of more subtle gentrification and the shifting of the residential Chinese community to Richmond, BC, Organizations such as the Chinese Benevolent Association and the Chinatown Youth Coalition are actively working to preserve Chinatown's heritage. Chinatown stands as a lightning rod for social cohesion and the defense of culture, as a place that calls for cultural distinction, along with unity between Vancouverites of all backgrounds. So we would like to welcome you to Vancouver's Chinatown. <laughs>